It's a Weenie Wheels Wednesday Barbie Mattel crossover edition coming up after this. I have an I have a I have some cars to open here. I have three of these Barbie Extra. These are newer HW Screen Time, and there's two under the tuned. The white one is the newest one. They're really cool, funny looking convertibles. I have these two vans that came out last year, or they say 2020 on them, I think, or 2018. Oh my goodness. I think these are all of the cars that have come out since. This is the oldest one I have had to pay a little bit extra for this one, unfortunately. 2017. So, I don't know. Since 2017, I think I have all of the cars that have came out since then. And then this was a special Chase Barbie monster truck. I'm not opening this. I think I'm going to sell it. Last time I looked, it was worth $50. So that would be more to me than that. I don't understand why they don't keep making Barbie Corvettes, though. If uh, Mattel put out Barbie Corvettes, it would be awesome. I do, they do have this series. Okay, this is a Barbie car that I don't have. I keep finding the Rock'em Sock'em and the Masters of the Universe van, which I'm totally happy with. But look, they've got another Hot Wheels one. They've got a Fisher Price, that Fisher Price one I want. I'll buy as many as I can find of those. These, I think, are $8 too. This um, special, I think they have better wheels and things like that. But I just always wanted a Fisher Price Hot Wheels mashup. And I, I can't believe they haven't done one. As far as I know, they've never done one. And I need that van so badly. Uh, the Barbie van, also cool. The Hot Wheels van, also cool. Uh, I have I have these two. And I keep finding the Masters of the Universe one, which makes no sense to me, because that would be the one that I would want the most. It's really awesome. Do I have it here to show you? Do you know what else I have? I have Mattel Games, and I haven't done those yet either. I've got a whole other box of other Mattel games. Uh, cars that I want to open. Ones that like are stock cars that have um, toy logos on them and stuff like that. I've shown them before. But let's concentrate on just getting these things open I guess for now. So look, even an old Barbie logo, that's more of like a early 2000s Barbie logo. That's not the Barbie logo that we know and like today. See, that's a little more modern. Looks a little more sleek. I couldn't figure out why I was opening up this Euro card, this mini Euro card. You can see how they differ, but uh, I do like the American cards better because, look, you get more picture, you get more art, you get more fun. But I think I want to save these. I mean, I have been ripping off the bubble. I think I'm going to be careful with these ones because Mattel brands. I just, I can't help myself. Mattel, Fisher-Price, favorite toy company. Masters of the Universe, Barbie, Hot Wheels, Polly Pocket, uh, Monster High, so many cool things. All right, did I open, I opened one of these before. What? I do have one of these open somewhere. Maybe I'm not supposed to open these. Oh, no. Well, I guess I have two open now. I guess I was supposed to pull out the one that I'd already opened. We do have this opening part. They have been making a lot of food trucks, but this is Barbie's... What do they call this? Barbie Dream Camper. One was a HW Metro, and one was an HW Getaway. I can't believe I remember opening this now. Oh, well. It's, it's fun to open, and I love putting this in dioramas and letting, like, Slate play with it. And it's just a really cool camper. Oh, yeah, i got to remember to show you the bottoms of these things. If I let you read, what is the 2020, 2020 on this mold? So it is really, really cool. When I went to the Barbie 
exhibition that started out in Canada. Now I think it's in LA somewhere, somewhere in California right now. Uh, the Barbie experience is happening. Definitely check it out. It's expensive, but it's really surreal. A great place to take a friend and take Instagram shots with each other because they got it, it is a true Barbie experience. Okay, so this one's a redeco version of it. So it looks like they've redone the interior. Oh yeah, I'm going to have lots of, this is going to be definitely a long enough video without me opening or showing you anything else. So I, there hasn't been a lot of, um, own, the reason, the reason why I'm doing this video today is because I'm kind of triggered because the grocery store finally got some new cars in. I mean, Walmart, nowhere. The Dollar Tree hasn't seen Hot Wheels forever. And even my grocery store, they got some new ones for 20 23 they got one the a case and then i think they got the d case they skipped all kinds of cases and now i think they just got a hundred more d cases and they're all sitting on the top of the shelf and i didn't even bother looking through them because it looked like somebody opened them but then i'm thinking maybe they didn't even take the maybe they, they maybe they were just looking for super treasure hunts maybe they even left the treasure hunts inside and i didn't bother to look there is a white convertible that i don't have from the first time that the D was released in Canada, but I have to go watch all of the videos here. I'm just going on and uh, I'll, I'll spin these around while I'm talking. I have to watch all of it uh, or I watch Ministry of Diecast. I think that's the name of the channel. Uh, nobody talks or anything, but it's a great channel and they quickly show you what's in each case. And um, I like to screen capture the super treasure hunts and the treasure hunts and then put them in on my Instagram. So I know, and then I can just go to my Instagram page, find that post, um, click on it and look for the treasure hunts and see which one that I'm looking for. So I don't like overlook it because there's special cars in each case and you you want to you don't want to miss them and you especially don't want to miss a super treasure hunt if you stumble upon one because like that barbie they're like they're like fifty dollars so i would sell it does that make me a scalper i don't know maybe it does but i gotta make some money in the toy universe somehow so i do like these two different decos they're very similar but of course i had to get them um, uh, this one, the Beyond, I don't think I can choose which one I like better. I do like movable parts, though, on my card. I also like that. Do they do that here? Yeah. I often look to the top of the card here, too, because anything that has a function or it's special has a movable part or something or something that's removable or they always show you at the top of the card here in the States. I don't think there's a place for them to do it. Oh, no. They do do it in Europe as well. I'm going to save these cards. Those are awesome. These are awesome. Let's put them up on the shelf. Let's pick Barbie up. She fainted. She loves it so much. Okay, you stand there. I had a chair for her, but I decided it's better if she just stands and Vanna White's the whole situation. So that's what we're going to do today. Can we open up these? I wanted to open up these Barbie Extra Cars since the very first time I saw one announced. I thought it was so cool because this is a car that is available in 1 6 scale. Hey, can you tell me what scale um, Hot Wheels are in? I mean, sometimes. The worst part about Hot Wheels is that, you know, trucks and then skateboards <laughs> and they don't come in the, they don't come in proper scale, but there must be like an average scale that uh, you can say that Hot Wheels are one, 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 you go smaller, you get the numbers one, one six is one twelve. 1 6 scale, 1 12 scale, oh yeah, 184 scale, is that what it is? Something like that? That's, that's, that's my guess. It's probably a really bad guess. I've never been good at jelly bean counting. So the white one looks really, really cool. I like how they give each card a different color art. I'll try to show you those. Do they have any movable parts on them? No, you can check that there. This is a really great color pink though. It's kind of like a, a dusty rose. It's a lighter, sicker, more metallic pink. And so you got the wings on there. We've got some silver seats in there. 
cool the wheels sometimes they'll switch up the wheels I guess they did switch up the wheels in this case this one was this year and that was in a, it's a series by itself I don't know if we'll see a redeco of that I should have looked these things up before I do a video purple interior on that one we got the silver interior interior on this one license plates are looking the same you gotta love the detail RB Extra. So I was saying you can get this car in one one sixth scale, but I I don't I yeah I don't want it. The Barbie extras are a little too extra for me, but I do like getting them because you can strip them down and uh, they have really great expensive like quality pieces. Um, and then we have the silver one with the pink interior and, oh yeah, the blue windshield is making it purple windshield when you mix the two colors together. That's cool. And then it has more of those oh, matching wheels because these are the two that came out first together in the same series, just redecos of each other. Oh, check out the headlights in stars that's really cool so these are sweet looking vehicles pink interior silver interior purple interior blue windshields blue windshields pink kind of looks orange it gets pink adorable cute oh and look at that undercarriage oh yeah that's super cool oh i didn't realize it is uh it is the interior is the bottom all right so very awesome cool three car deal love those so much put those up on the shelf i should concentrate more on setting up rooms at the same time as i open these cars don't you think i should like make a whole race car bed to go around along with uh the different uh, categories open up right now. This one, I had to pay $10 to get it. The uh, Hot Wheels lady across the street ripped me off. Kind of. I don't, I don't like, I don't like the dealers. I say that after I say I'm going to sell them on eBay. But, I don't know, people that go around, um, they sell every car for expensive prices. Like, they, I don't know, they charge you like $5 for just, you know, all of the cars that they stole that are only up to $2 in Canada. All right, there it is. It is, probably shouldn't have opened it because it's probably value. It's an actual Corvette Stingray. And I wonder what this is. This is a Monster Vet. I don't know what, what kind of, if you know what kind of, the exact name of this style of a Corvette you let me know, but I mean, not not that it before it was souped up. <laughs> this is a Volks um <laughs> Volkswagen. This is a convertible. No, <laughs> wait. This is a what? What? What did I forget? Yeah, wait. Is that what you call a? Whoa! I'm having my brain totally went away. Is that what you call a car without a roof on it? A convertible? Yeah, 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 yeah. So there is the underside, and it says 2018, 20, 2013, oh, 20, oh, 2013. I knew that this was old because I didn't even see this in the store. 2013 was a long time ago. I, I forget what, well, 2013. So maybe that was a good deal. Oh, but that is just the mold. That doesn't mean that was, and now I'm seeing 2015. I never can read that stuff well. That's just when the mold was made anyway. It probably They probably just made this vet and they didn't, uh, you know, put Barbie stuff on it. And it does have 59 on it, the year Barbie was born. And then they've got that old logo that I'm not really a fan of, that early 2000 look. But I do like the clear window and I like the white interior. Uh, and then yeah, and there's always like missing paint or something. And you can see there one of my stripes got a paint this dash in it. It's cool. It's a great looking car. It's special. It's awesome. I hope you had fun playing with me today. Uh,
Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. What should I open in the next video? I do want to open the Mattel games. I uh, just also looked in. Oh, Barbie's always fallen, just like me. Um, in the box, in the boxes, I saw I got a dino collection of that lady who sold me this. I thought I saw a. I saw. I thought I saw my missing dino there, but by the time I realized I was missing it, this, these dinos came in so many different colors. I'm missing one. I do have the full set. I just don't have the extra deco of one of the dinosaurs. So I think. Um, now that I know, like, that is the only place I'm going to find an old Hot Wheels car. Uh, yeah, I don't think... I, I, the chances of me finding that missing dino are super rare. And it, it doesn't mean... It, it's not worth anything or anything. It's just... It, it's my whole collection. So, yeah, I'm going to just open up those dinos. But what else did I want to tell you that I wanted to open? I wanted to open... I have the... Uh, the whole uh, station wagon, or it's not, yeah, the wagons, whole wagon collection. I have the whole muscle car collection from last year, which is turning out to be better than the 80s cars. I was really excited about the 80s cars, but they're not all, they're not perfect. They're still, they're 80s cars, so they are awesome. So I'm excited to open up that series. And then, what else is there? There's, oh yeah, and there's the stock cars that I have in here. I did the last, I think it was the last, it was a long time ago I opened up all of these. I am collecting those. But yeah, I have special, special Mattel cars, like these ones. These are really cool. And I thought, if I had time today to open them, I would, but... I mean, this video is already, like, almost 20 minutes long. It's a whole podcast of me just opening toys and going on about whatever and stumbling over my words. It's not like you're not used to it. Oh. Yeah. And that's why, when you're watching this video, it probably has 30 watches on it, because you're not allowed. You're not allowed to... Man, I've been doing this for so long. I've seen toy channels come and go. Did I say that in this video, or was that a different video? <laughs> and here I am, but I'm not specializing. you got to specialize on YouTube, kids. Specialize. But I've decided this year, it was, it was the beginning, of, was it this year? Or was it last year? I don't know when I started doing Weenie Wheels Wednesday. Whenever I did that... And having, I decide just to do what I want. And I gotta open up the toys I have and what I like. Bye.